How's it going, everybody? My name is Raid Fun, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. In the last episode, we got our machine part from Purr, evolved our Eevee into Vaporeon thanks to your guys' votes, and explored the majority of Gate and Port. And in this episode, before we move on and bring the machine part back to our mother, I did do one. I have two things that I would like to do in Gate and Port before we leave. And that is to go on top of the lighthouse right over here, because last episode, I did mention something that was going to happen a little bit later, and I was actually going to be now. I want to hold it off until a little bit later, but you know what? I think now is the best time to do it, just because. So as we go up to the top of the lighthouse here, not only do we have a nice view of all of, or at least the majority of Gate and Port from this area, and I do have to say, this place looks absolutely beautiful from down here. It also looks beautiful from the cinematic shot we got when we first got to Gate and Port, but we also have some old men... And that's it. But there is one person in particular right over here that we want to talk to. You there! You look like a trainer to me! Somebody gave me a wickedly tough Pokemon! I'll test it out on you! Wickedly tough Pokemon, eh? Well, I'm pretty sure by now you guys know what she needs like that. So, and yes, this is a female, surprisingly. Bodybuilder Kylie killing girl. That, honestly, when I was little, I never even knew that was a woman. It just looked like a different kind of colored guy with big man boobs. But either way, the shadow Pokemon that this woman has is none other than a shadow Poochiana. Alright, now Poochiana, that is something I'll go over later. In fact, after this battle, I do need to go over something which I forgot to go over last episode and I probably should get that over with. But anyways, you can see I've already poured it on right there. These are actually one of the early instances of having a very low level Vaporeon. Usually in other games when you get an Eevee, you would get them at a, a, a relatively higher level than this. Of course, if you breed Vaporeons or breed Eevees and just evolve them into level 1, well then that's a different story. Anyway, that Zubat just went flying in the air because of our Shadow Blitz, which is reasonable to a degree. But something that is not reasonable is the attack that we had for Puchiana. It's hurt. In fact, I think I used Bite on the Axe, or maybe I used a Tackle. Either way, let's go ahead and use Lake on that. But what I don't understand is that Puchiana's flailing. Like, once you attack it, like, it just does that random flail like that. I don't know. To me, it just kind of it feels like it's not good. Like, I don't really feel like it's good, in my opinion. Like, it's just kind of like, you know, flailing. Like, if I just lick it, it's gonna flail like that. I mean, I guess I can understand it if it flails around like that, but still... Eh, it just really wasn't a design for me. And speaking of design... Lick! Ooh, that tongue! And, yes! Alright, I should probably mention what Lick does. I should have mentioned that earlier. Lick will give a 30% chance to paralyze your opponent. It is a ghost-type move, obviously, so... Don't know why it's a ghost-type, but we're not gonna really complain. What we are gonna do is that we're just gonna go ahead and catch this Buchiana because that's what we're supposed to do, since though we are 100% in the game. And Teddy Ursa, you know what, you can use Shadow Mist in case we somehow fail to capture a weakened, paralyzed Poochiana. If we could not catch this, that is just going to be completely sad, and I will do some rage. One, two, three, boom. Easy. This Pokemon was too weak. Wow, Kyleen K, whatever your name is. Bodybuilder K, whatever your name is. You really don't appreciate Pokemon at all. What was that all about? I joined that organization because they said they'd give me a strong Pokemon, something that's not like the usual ones. Well, what was so tough about that? I was conned. Who do you think you are, Gary Oak? Just going out saying my Pokemon are supposed to be strong. If they're not, I can throw them away. Are you gonna like turn into some resolution later? Alright, we could go down the stairs, and there are some items, but honestly, you only get stuff like Awakenings, and I don't really want to go for that, it's a waste of time. So, we're just going to take the elevator down and take the nice safe way. Bill's items, honestly, you can take them if you want to, but I highly doubt you're going to need them. Because honestly, there is nothing that can give you status conditions this early in the game. Alright, but one last thing I want to do here in Gain and Port is, I want to activate the Rotating Bridges to go, obviously this way so we can get out of here and uh, I have to do this whole sequence one thing I don't like about the rotating bridges it does take a while to position them right you have to like turn around wait for that little cutscene they have to go and do that again until they match up and even then that's not gonna be right because I want to go to that house over to the left as we can see I want there's something there that we well it's not an item or anything but it is something that I want to show off just because I feel like it's neat it is quite the neato burrito so let's go ahead and check it out there we go 
And for some reason, I felt like there was an item box here containing super potions, but that's probably just me thinking of Colosseum for some reason. But this old man. There's an island far from the coast of Gaten Port. It's surrounded by vicious ocean currents, however, so no one can go near. Of course, everyone around these parts knows better than to go near that island in the first place. Aww. Wonder what that island could be about. But anyways, now we're going to go and get into the main story of things because we are done exploring Game Port. We could do more stuff, like I could go level grind at the Krabby Club, but I'm not going to. Where I battled... I forgot his name was Boster, Bach, something like that, with a B. I forget his name. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. So we can just leave all the other things aside and just run right over to the Pokemon HQ lab. And once I get to the HQ lab, I want to go over two Shadow Pokemon because I forgot to mention Shadow Lediva. And okay, on it, okay, look. I know it looks like Jovi does not have her leg showing, and it's like a glitch. But it's because her legs are actually dangling on the left side of the scooter. It's not a glitch. No, yes, Jovi has legs. They're not some kind of, you know, ectoplasmic, otherworldly, ethereal being or anything. Even though they are blue, and ectoplasm is usually defined as blue. But anyways, we have a Lediba and Puchiana. Ladybugs! They suck. Personally, I never really use them at all. I feel like they're a waste. Special offense is pretty much the best out of all of them. It is a... I guess it's an okay special offense wall. You know, special wall, but... And it is a relatively fast Pokemon, but... It's not any Pokemon I want to have anytime soon. And as for Poochiana, Poochiana is, once again, another very good attacker. However, Teddy Ursa does seem to do his job a l much better, honestly. Not because it's one level higher, but... I mean, it's stats in general. And no, Shadow... The fact that it's a Shadow Pokemon does not alter its stats at all, and even if it did... This is a Shadow Pokemon as well, so nothing would really change. Poochiana, really, it's just all around... It's, it's only a little bit better in speed, but that's pretty much it. Uh, Shadow Hold is basically something that will keep the Pokemon in field, so you cannot... Any Pokemon can escape if Shadow Hold is used on them. And Shadow Shed is a move that can take down Reflect, which is very good in my opinion. It's a little bit early for that kind of stuff to appear in this game, but eh, whatever. But now, let's go over here and... Oh, Sebastian, could you wait just one second? Of course. Now, what is it that it could possibly want from me? I'll do anything for you. I found some more memos that I wrote up with the director. I think you should have them, Sebastian. Hooray, we got more useless tutorial stuff that we won't need at all because I can explain it all myself. They'll give you basic information about Shadow Pokemon. I'd like you to read them over at least once. Just like we did a few episodes ago, I'm gonna say no and be a rebellious teenager and... I'm gonna be a rebellious teenager and not even talk about that crane memo and just completely ignore it, just like everything else that teenagers would do. Oh, youth. Alright, but seriously, in all seriousness, let's get this over to Lily because she's probably wondering where we all are. And by all, I mean the two of us. So let's just give that machine part to her right now. Welcome back, Sebastian. Was Jovi well behaved? We ran the errand like you wanted, Mommy. A bad guy tried to stop us, but a nice person helped us. Oh no, really? I'll get the details later. I just kind of love how she's like really serious. She's like, eh, I'll do it later. Who cares? What about the machine part? And we get the machine part to Lily. And we do not see ourselves giving it, so we probably gave it through telepathy, even though it did not come out of our inventory at all. Thank you. With this component, we can get down to the finishing touches on the Purify Chamber. I should take this down to the Purify Chamber on the ground floor now. Oh, Jovi will take it. Are you sure? Jovi, are you sure? Don't drop it. Jovi can do it. Jovi, with your moonwalking thing, I highly doubt that you're going to make it there. But if you do, well then, all the more power to you. That means you will not have to see you anymore. Sebastian, how is your Shadow Pokemon doing? You mean Shadow, well, Shadow Pokemon, Pokemon. Honestly, that the singular form of Pokemon is Pokemon, and the plural form of Pokemon is Pokemon. Purification progresses if a Shadow Pokemon spends time together with its trainer. Has a hard gauge fallen to zero? No, but it has gotten close. At least for our Teddy Ursa. Oh. But by the time the Purified Chamber is complete, the hard gauge should be down to zero. If the hard gauge has fallen to zero, that Shadow Pokemon is ready to open its heart. That alone isn't enough. To complete the process, a Pokemon needs to go through a purification ceremony. It's basically a ritual for it to return to its natural state. If the Purified Chamber were ready, it could go through the ceremony there, but... It looks like we'll need a little more time to get finished. 
Because of that, I think your shadow Pokemon should go through the purification ceremony using a different process. There's a village called the Gate. In, or Agate, Agate, whatever you want to call it. I personally call it a Gate. Or Agate... Ag Agate... A Gate! I don't know how to say it. <laughs> just... Just bash me in the comments if you want to how to pronounce it. I'm going to call it a Gate Village. If that really bothers you, I'll make an effort to not say it, but whatever. In the village is the Relic Stone, which has the power to restore Shadow Pokemon to their natural state. It worries me a lot to send you to such a far off place by yourself, dear, but I it's also think it's something that only you can do. Well, dear, will you go to a gate village? Yes, we will. Thank you. You know, Sebastian, I'm so proud of how you're becoming more and more dependable. A gate is southeast from here, but it's not very close. Go see a man named Egan here. The Relic Stone, which is used for the purification ceremony, is under the care of a man named Egan. I will get in touch with him so he knows that you're coming, Sebastian. I will do my best to get the purified chamber finished while you're gone. Please be careful, Sebastian. Okay, and now with that done, we can simply move on with our lives and go over to a gate village, or Agate village, a gate... I don't know how you say it, honestly. Pronunciations of stuff, it, it kills me. It kills me. I'm thinking if that's killing me. My throat is kind of hurting me at the moment, but... That is not something I should worry about because that will not take my enthusiasm away. But you know what will? Not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. So let's just go to a gate village on our own. Now that Jovi is finally gone from our care. Now you don't have to take care of such a blue girl. A gate village. A lush green town of senior citizens. There's a relic honoring Celebi here. Let's get going. And now, entering a gate village, we get a nice little panoramic shot of it. And I have to say, it looks like a very, very basic clay model to me for some reason. I don't know, it just looks like that. But the music here is very soothing. I really enjoy the music. And the rushing water in the bottom of our feet. This village is just wonderful. Now, a gate village. Trivia. This is a returning village, or a returning place from Pokemon Coliseum. There will be other instances of other places from Pokemon Coliseum that will arrive in Pokemon XD since this is the ore region. So, practically the majority of the areas we've seen already are only available, are pretty much all we're going to see. There are maybe one or two more places that are not in Coliseum that we have yet to see yet, but that's going to be safe for later. Anyways, and here we get one Pokeball, so that will refund the cost for our, our Buchiana that we caught, and yeah. There are things around the Gate Village that I want to tackle and take on, but right now I think what we should do is we should be, as that man said, once we got to Gate and Port and we went to the Pokemon Center, Pokemon Mart, we should actually use them. So let's go to the PC over here, or the Pokemon Center. You know, I don't understand why it's abbreviated PC. The PC is actually this thing. And the PC is used to move and deposit and withdraw your Pokemon and your items that you may have in your inventory. But let's just go ahead and heal. And just like I did in Pokemon Platinum, I'm going to use both enthusiastic voice ever for these Pokemon Center ladies. Hello and welcome to our Pokemon Center. You restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Yes, I understand this is the same voice I give the ONBS broadcaster, but you know what? I don't care. Thank you for waiting. You restored all your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Now, I want to say I want to go over that line real quick. When she says we hope to see you again, that's kind of just saying that you she wants your Pokemon to be hurt. So, what a horrible thing to say in a hospital is that popular Tumblr post that's been going around all over the internet has said. But anyways, now we have our Pokemon fully healed. I believe it's time to end the episode off here. I know we're about to go see something really cool. We're about to see a Pokemon be purified. But there is going to be a lot going on. And I do want to explore the majority of a gate village in the next episode. So, yeah. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we are going to be going around a gate village. Do the majority of things we can do now. And go see Egan about purifying our Shadow Pokemon. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.